racist in Germany. Is it still here? Welcome Reshaper. Hope you're doing well today. Into this video I want to share with you is racist in Germany still here? Well, if you know my, my story, actually back then in when I was a small child, like when we go back to uh, where we actually moved to here to Germany from Russia, the first experience I got actually with racism was in Russia, and the second one, of course, in Germany. But in Germany, it wasn't. It was still my first grade. It was my first grade where I experienced the first time racism. It wasn't just racism from some of the pupils because I had uh, maybe a little bit uh, pimples on my um, skin, but it was also from teachers. And it was more like this underground racism. She isn't. She hasn't talked to me that. But if when she said like Russia and stuff like that, every time when I talk about my home country, she was really uh, she. I could see like the f uh, like not the fear but more this kind of anger in her face and facial expression every time. I just have to say this one word, and she has really bad perception, bad connection to it. And um, it, I could see actually that I did the same thing, the even more amount of work for my uh, grades. However, I could see that she is just hating on me, and I had some worse remarks than the others, even though I did the same amount of work. So, uh, fairness, unfairness. I mean, I wasn't good in German, so I couldn't express myself that good. So she could actually do what she was. And the same thing I also experienced in the middle school. Um, uh, some of these were really against Russians, and I could feel how the Russians in our in our grade just had really bad, 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 bad um, remarks, especially at this one teacher. And I have actually experienced it back then. This is actually my story. Another story is actually till then when you are a white person and running uh, in uh, public transport I mean someone of yours might really experience that kind of that kind of um, yeah how people are watching you when you're there may, may, many of you are watching you like you are a freaking uh, alien or so or it's uh, I see I feel myself everything when I see this Think so I try to ignore it and, and try to perceive it as a positive however um, if you just see how they're watching you um, it's just they felt every time offended you just watch you just watch a little bit on them and this is actually pr pretty intimidated how you can how you see these faces how you see um, and actually the things how most people are speaking and it's not every, not everybody is polite. You can see how people are just screaming around, especially in the backyards, and uh, in a bus, and just screaming around, uh, like putting on music and stuff like that. And in my big then it was even more worse. Now it's a little bit better. However, you can still feel this pressure, feel this kind of energy, uh, which is really threat, and you can feel the threat everywhere. And uh, the most threat, which is actually there, is from police officers. I mean, I don't want to be a victim. However, I can uh, show you uh, one story. It was two year. It was one year ago uh, when we were at Pokemon Fest. I think it was the Dortmund was in Oberhausen, something like that. that uh, two years ago, I believe. And what eventually happened is we uh, walked with friends and we just talked, even not loud, just a little bit and all of a sudden two police officers approached us and has asked us for our uh, uh, for our uh, place of residence, like passports and luckily we had those passports with us 
and they can't control. However, uh, they are even uh, the friend of us was a police officer, uh, but she has like normal clothes on. Uh, she is uh, showing her police officer documents, and the other police officer just say, "Don't do trouble here." And the funny thing is, five meters ahead of us were some people with an immigrant, immigrant background to Germany and they were literally fighting. You can see how actually someone just get like a fist in the face and stuff like that and they just ignored them. And they just ignored them. This was actually the funny thing, what I have seen and I don't want to be again racist, I'm not going to be anything. Another thing that you can actually see in Germany really often is in newspapers. Every time when um, someone committed a crime, when it's written someone was German, uh, with the German citizenship, there's written a German citizen every single time. However, if someone is uh, 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 having an immigration background, there's written a person. Do you see this disbalance? I mean, in Germany, they are always talking about racism against racism against black people, racism against is um, against racism, um, which is um, against Islamic racism and everything racism. However, they are so much talking about racism about people who are in foreign countries. Rather, so they are don't they are kind of blind to the uh, racism to their own folk. And this is the thing that I want to really address to not just to the government but all to the people especially to Japan which is 2020 uh, you have actually your Olympics don't make your rules easier to immigrate to Japan because the easier you make the more it becomes like here in Germany and I don't want to have Japan like here in Germany Japan is the only country I felt myself really safe it's the first time in my life I felt safe even in freaking Aokigahara where people are committing suicide I felt myself safer than here in Germany when you are long, even when you are long in the darkest uh, night in Japan, you feel yourself more safe than here in Germany. And this is what I want to address. I found myself, you know, the social anxiety, but also anxiety just just being here, just just running here, because nobody knows. People can be just robbed really every moment here, and it's especially in the night. So the best thing is no go in the night, but if you have to. You know, I I remember like uh, one, yeah, like a few months ago when I uh, go back to my town and I was uh, what uh, really sitting and waiting on the train. It went eventually happened when I was waiting the train. Uh, it was really a deep at night and I was really just listening to my radio and I and uh, I have seen like. Uh, like a crowd uh, who are seeing me again and just so I, I was uh, they really wanted to make a fight because they had like their phone, uh, the box there and, and walk, walk to me by and just really were offended and just screaming around and I just ignored them so when you see they ignored them they pass by but there's actually no thing like security in Germany against such people Sorry, Shepa, tell me what's the number one thing you've picked up so far. I do also tell you that, so make sure to hit the notification and subscribe button. Give me a like if you had some value from it, and as always, do not let yourself impose your passion now.